in high definition. In the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series season, and the biggest, boldest, and baddest racing series has made a stop in Barrie, Ontario, where being big, bold, and bad is second nature. It's a two-roof speed fest here at the High Line. Racing expressions like arrow push and gentleman racing are not in the vocabulary. At Barry, it's like the walls narrow down and grab you. Winning here is a major feat, a case of survival. One wrong move and your night could be over, while many right moves could engrave your name in history. So the race is on for the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Championship presented by Sirius Satellite Radio. We're at the one-third mile oval of Barry Speedway as TSN presents the Pizza Pizza 300. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a highly anticipated race here at Barry Speedway. I'm Dave Bradley. Alongside me is Billy Rouse Jr. and Todd Lewis is trackside. Billy, we've talked about it all season long, the dominance of Scott Steckley. He's led the Castro Points chase since the drop of the green flag this season. He has at eight top five finishes, but... His near immortal status is starting to be challenged. Well, he's been the car to beat all year. They've had great horsepower. The crew chiefs had that car handling better than anybody else's car here, but the motor failed him in Mossport. That hurt a little bit in the chase. Last week, he got in an altercation, went down through the grass, knocked the oil pump belt off it. That one really hurt. So he's, he's come back in the points a little bit, and the rest of the boys are hungry to see just how well that 22 car is going to finish the year, and I'm betting it's going to finish strong. Absolutely. One of those drivers looking to take advantage and has so far is the 27 of Andrew Ranger. He finished second at Cuga. That bumps him up to second in the Castro points chase and with three races to go here in the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series it's go time as Billy likes to say and with more on today's feature event let's throw it down to Todd Lewis. Todd? Fellas we all know that Barry Speedway is a battleground where these walls will come into play it's a tight one-third mile bull ring and you want to qualify up front quickest qualifier was perennial fast guy Don Thompson Jr. who scored his sixth pole position of the season a track time of 14.066 seconds around Barry Speedway to set a new record. DJ Kennington in the Castrol Dodge qualifies in the sixth spot. A couple of wins here last year on the podium earlier this season. Tell me about surviving 300 laps at Barry. It's probably one of the toughest plays you'll ever try to survive 300 laps. Uh, it's all about keeping the fenders on it and trying to save something for the end of the race. 300 laps doesn't take very long here, but it's a long time. So we're going to try to keep the fenders on the Castro Dodge and uh, hopefully try to get another podium out of this thing tonight. Uh, it's been an up and down season, but we're still in the battle. and We're going to try to get this thing looked after. Uh, DJ Kennington in the battle. So is Andrew Ranger. Both have gained ground on points leader Scott Steckley. They'll be looking to do the same. These two will also be traveling back to Richmond for the nationwide race that was rained out last night. They got to travel back and will be hustling. Other team that's hustling, fellas, is the number 77 of Derek Lynch. They discovered their radiator is leaky. They're trying to get that repaired before the start of the green, which will happen when we come back to Barry Speedway. The Pizza Pizza 300 from Barry Speedway is brought to you by Castrol. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. By Dodge. Grab life by the horns. And by Allied Steel Buildings, the leading, most trusted brand of steel building. The field is all set to go here at the High Line as the Dodge Caliber SRT4 pace car gets things underway. Let's take a look at tonight's Dupla Color starting grid on pole. Don Thompson Jr., the sixth time he's sat in the number one position to start a race this year. Dave Whitlock outside front row. Mark Dilley, his teammate, inside a row two. And then Scott Steckley, your points leader, will start fourth. Kerry Mix in the 02 and DJ Kennington in the 17 make up row number three. Then Ron Beauchamp Jr. in the 60. Brad Graham in the 19 are in row number four. Taking a look at row number five is Jeff Lapsovich in the 25. And Pete Shepard drives the seven once again here today. Derek Lynch is in the 77. Joey McComb in the 49. They make up row number six. And then row number seven has Doug Brown in the 10 and Kent Noon in the 18. Row number eight, J.R. Fitzpatrick way back starting spot here today in the 84. And Peter Gibbons in the one car. And row number nine has John Gunn, Andrew Ranger. Ranger driving the 27. And the final row, the three car. Jason Hathaway in the 95. Rookie of the year contender, Anthony Simone. Two drivers not with us today. Alex Tagliani, who's once again joined the IRL for a race in Chicago. Pete Shepard replaces him once again to Jason White at home in BC with his wife, who just gave birth to a new baby boy named Ryder. Congratulations to Jason and his wife. 
Let's take a look at the Allied Steel Buildings race analysis here tonight. It's 300 laps in this tight little bull ring. As you see, it's 23 degrees, and we've practiced in the sun, and we're going racing in the dark. The chassis setup will change. As we take a look at the onboard shot from Peter Gibbons with more on tonight's race, here's Todd Lewis. A couple of quick updates before we go green, fellas. The 25 normally driven by Jim Lapsovich. Well, it's his brother Jeff, who we've seen before behind the wheel for this one here at Barrie. And also the number 49, Joey McComb, is back behind the wheel. We see John Fletcher in the car. He is with the team. In fact, he's working in coaching Joey McComb. They're hoping for a better result in that number 49 team for this race. And Joey McComb cut his racing teeth here at Barry Speedway in the late model division as you take a look at six of the onboard views that you'll see tonight. A great way of seeing the Pizza Pizza 300 here at Barry Speedway. And Patrick O'Doherty from Pizza Pizza has the green flag in hand as the cars come out of quarter four in waves and we're underway here at Barry Speedway. Don Thompson Jr. got a great start, but you gotta think he's pretty cautious on that start given the circumstances back at Cuga Speedway where he was penalized for jumping the initial start. Mark Dilley up to second spot as the 39 of Dave Whitlock bangs together with the 0-2 of Kerry Mix. And now Whitlock will take third, but here comes a tow truck in a box 22 of Scott Steckley up on the outside of the BDI 0-2. Down into turn three. Wow, look at that 22 go around the outside. As we talked about in the opening, crew chief and driver got the communication down pat, and that car is on a rail. Notoriously, the outside lane here at Barry Speedway, of course, it's referred to as the high line. Some of the drivers seem to prefer that outside groove. As the cars work in, the bottom gets jammed up. Some are thinking the outside groove may be the way to get around here tonight. Well, I watched some drivers in practice, and they were giving that bottom totally away in turn three, trying to get the momentum off of... Oh, Mixie's around on the 0-2, coming off of turn four. And Mix spins to the inside, down to the exit of pit lane. He grabs the gear and gets going, no caution. Well, he just missed that NASCAR official standing on the end of pit road there. Very close, no caution. Mixie will have to hustle. Let's have a look at the replay. Down into turn three, too much rear brake, obviously the car, it snaps around, he stays in the gas. And that NASCAR official is Janelle McGlashan, who quickly got out of the way of the spinning 0-2 of Gary Mix, who was all the way up in fourth spot. Now he's back into 19th in a battle with the 49 of Joey McComb. Well, take a take a look at that 0-2 car for the rest of the night. The best show on the racetrack we watch, and Iron Man Kerry Mix work his way back to the front. Board with the Dickies Dodge of Dave Whitlock having a good run the early going here in the Pizza Pizza 300. Now we'll look back to the 25 of Jeff Lapsovich as he tries to get underneath the Mopar Dodge of Ron Moshoff. That's a battle for seventh position. Man, things are getting tight there. The 19 full, in, full throttle energy drink car are just a little bit slower than Beauchamp, and Beauchamp's chomping at the bit, wanting to get it by. Another track is this Barry Speedway Tri-Oval that some drivers absolutely love and some drivers absolutely hate as J.R. Fitzpatrick gets a little nudge coming out of corner number two. There's hometown favorite John Gaughty in the 12, and that's for 17th position. But Brad Graham, one of the drivers that truly dislikes this racetrack despite having some success in the lower ranks. Well, I've seen Brad win here in the Sportsman Series and done really well, but he's just not comfortable with the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series car here. Did come off a top five, though, in the AW300 in the uh, earlier race this year as we run on board with your leader, Don Thompson Jr., the home hardware Chevy Monte Carlo. There's the gap back to second to Mark Dilley in the number nine Dodge. Well, you see the difference in the right front rotor on the nine car versus the four. Don Thompson Jr. starting to glow with the front rotors. On board with Mark Dilley, who used to teach the Barry Speedway driving experience here at the Speedway in a Thunder car, race-prepared Thunder car. He figures he's put about 3,500 students through that course, so he definitely knows how to get around here. On board with Dave Whitlock, sixth third. There's the battle back, fourth and fifth. DJ Kennington and Scott Steckley. Steckley gets a great run out of quarter number two. And you see how that car hook coming out of the two. Wow, watch. Oh! We got the 27 of Ranger around backwards, and that's the 18 of Kent Noon around as well. So caution flies for the first time here as Kent Noon gets things going once again. So does the Walmart tied Ford Fusion of Andrew Ranger. We'll get another chance to see it on board with J.R. Fitzpatrick. Well, down into turn one and two. Whoa! The 27 just pile drives the 18. Some debris down on the speedway. Looks like it's a hood. Jason Hathaway's down pit lane. Todd? 
Jason Hathaway, the number three snap on Tools Dodge along Pit Road. It's a problem with water coming out from underneath. They're having a look. They're trying to cool that engine down and get Jason back out into the battle. We'll have more of the Pizza Pizza 300 from Barry Speedway in just a moment.